All right, Matrix, welcome back. Now we're going to be taking a look at tariffs and how that we can use them to calculate very thing, various things. So to start off with the tariffs, things that we're covering in this. What are tariffs? How to calculate tariffs? And then some example questions or an example question. And then choosing a tariff that suits you and using tariffs to control how people use resources. Okay, so what is a tariff? Well, quite simply, a tariff is a cost rate that you are charged for consuming a quantity of something, e.g. the cost per unit of something that we use. All right, so, you know, the consumption of electricity or water or some other commodity like that could be an example of a tariff. Tariffs have uh, two functions or forms that we have. One is linear, the other one is stepped. Okay, linear is the, uh, the most simple of them, but stepped tariffs are the most commonly used uh, when calculating the cost of water or electricity. Whereas linear tariffs include things like telephone usage or transports. Okay. One very important thing to note is that tariffs usually do not contain VAT, all right? This is calculated afterwards, if applicable, because some of these things that we calculate using tariffs would not incur VAT. Okay, so that's just something to consider. All right, so the tariffs the, for each that we will look at, okay, we're going to be looking at water, so rands per kiloliter, or uh, electricity, which is rands per kilowatt hours, although sometimes this is quoted as cents per kilowatt hours. Telephone, it's rands per unit of time, so rands per minute, rands per second, etc. It also could be cents in this case. And transport, rands per kilometer. Okay, something to remember is that in all cases there could be some sort of fixed cost, all right, that is associated here. So when we're calculating our total costs, we might have to add in a service charge or some sort of initial cost before you start calculating your tariff. Okay, <clears throat> taking a look at linear tariffs. Now, these tariffs work at a constant rate regardless of usage, okay? Sometimes they're referred to as straight line tariffs because if you were to graph them out, okay, they, the line would be straight, okay? So, very simply, <clears throat> the usual examples we have here, taxi fares per kilometer, rental fees per hour, telephone call fees per minute, okay? Very simple and straightforward. So, <clears throat> to calculate how much we're going to use. For example, here we're calculating how much must be paid for 20 kiloliters of water if it costs 3 rand 56 per kiloliter. Very straightforward. Because it's a linear tariff, we can just multiply the two together. Is our amount of usage, our kiloliters in total, times the price per kiloliter would give us our total price. Similar for electricity, to calculate how much be, must be paid for 1,005 kilowatt hours of electricity if it costs uh, 89 cents per kilowatt hour. Once again, uh, this is very simple. Just multiply the two together to get your rate. Okay, uh, quite nice. Also, another one involving some telephone usage. How much will it cost for a four-minute telephone call if we have to pay uh, 1 rand 50 per minute. Simple. Multiply your four minutes by 1 rand 50 to get a total of six rand. And finally, to calculate how much it would cost to travel 37 kilometers if it costs 7 rand 50 per kilometer, just multiply them all together, and you have a total cost of 277 rand 50 cents. So, these linear tariffs are very nice. They sim seem simple enough. However, not all tariffs work that way. Okay, some are structured so that the more you use, the more expensive it becomes. We call these step tariffs. These are to discourage people from overusing. So <clears throat> the idea, if you're going to use it for water, etc., uh, water, for example, here, we're going to have a situation where, say, one person is living in a small flat or apartment. They're not going to use a lot of water, so we're not going to charge them a lot for their usage. They're being very reasonable about the usage. If someone lives in a massive mansion with large gardens and a swimming pool and a lot of things that require a lot of water, they're going to have to get charged for more, using more water than everyone else, and it's expected that they should be able to afford to pay for that more. 
Okay, so the more you use, the more it costs per unit. But it's broken up into brackets. This is, as I said, to discourage using too much. So if you use very little, you don't pay much. If you use more, you pay more. Okay, so how do we decide who pays what? Well, the step tariff system is used. Okay, the step tariff system breaks up the units of measurement, the kiloliters, the kilowatt hours, the minutes, the kilometers into groups. Okay, each group has a cost per unit. So if we look at a basic example of a water tariff here, you'll see that the first five kiloliters of water are free. That's just for a basic sort of living allowance. Um, you know, a person should be able to survive on 50 liters of water a day minimum. Okay, it's their basic human right to be able to use that much. So they calculate that five kiloliters should be the basic for a household, a normal household. Once you've passed that free water, you're going to start paying. As you can see, the next uh, from 5 to 15 or 10 kiloliters of water will cost you 3 rand 99 per kiloliter. And as you move up through the amounts, you're going to be paying more here until you get to your uh, 20 to 50 kiloliters. In reality, there might be uh, no limit to the top number there. So it might be 20 to or 20 plus there and we'll just keep charging or there'd be another uh, another bracket above 50 kiloliters okay so just to break this up a little bit you'll see that we've got zero to five kiloliters that's free the next 10 kiloliters are charged at three rand 99 the next five kiloliters are going to be charged at 8 rand 51 and the next 30 kiloliters are charged at 12 rand 61 per kiloliter okay the number in brackets just shows me the maximum amount of kiloliters that we're going to use in each of these brackets okay it helps us with our calculation if we can identify these so what we see here if we see 0 to 5 kiloliters is there's the total of 5 kiloliters so we calculate the first 5 kiloliters at uh, 0 rands per kiloliter then the next 5 to 15, a total of 10 kiloliters is used. So we calculate the next 10 kiloliters at 3 rand 99. The next, the next 5 we're going to be doing at 8 rand 51. So just like we did earlier with just a little bit. And the next 30 liters or the last 30 kiloliters are going to be charged at 12 rand 61 per kiloliter. Okay. If you have more than 5 kiloliters, we need to calculate the first rate. Okay. And then we move to the next bracket. If I need to check how many kiloliters I have left and how many may fall in the next bracket, I only need to look at the next 10 that will fall in the next. So if I'm using 12, it's going to fall into the second bracket as well. And then I calculate how much more goes in there. Okay. If I have more than 15 kiloliters, I move on to the third bracket, etc. Okay. But we need to remember that we need to break up the kiloliters into these brackets and then calculate each bracket. So we're going to look at a practical example now of how to calculate the total cost using the step tariffs using this table of data and we'll be able to carry on from there. Okay. Okay. So matrix, we're going to take a look at our, our example now for tariffs. So for example, we're going to have someone who's using 35 kiloliters of water a month and we need to calculate how much they're going to pay for it. If we refer to our little table, we can see we've got this going from zero all the way up to 50 kiloliters of maximum usage with our steps of zero to five, five to 15, 15 to 20, and 20 to 50 kiloliters. Okay, so we know that we need a total of 35 kiloliters. We're gonna break it up into our different amounts here. So for the 0 to 5 kiloliters per month. We know that they pay 0 rand for our 5 kiloliters. Okay, so that's going to give a 0 rand there that is required to be paid. Then the next step is 5 to 15 kiloliters. Okay, so that costs 3 rand 99 per kiloliter. And they're using, the difference here is 10. So we've got a full 10 kiloliters there. So altogether, that's 39 rand 90 
please remember two decimal places there, okay? We cannot have you rounding off and saying it's uh, comma nine because this is money and money always has two decimal places. Okay, now 35, we still haven't reached it yet, so we're going to use our next step, 15 to 20 kiloliters, okay? That rate is eight rand 51 per kiloliter, and the difference here is five. So for our next five kiloliters that we'll be using, we need to multiply that up. So five times eight rand 51, okay, will give us 42 rand 55 total there for that step, okay? And then finally, we're going to be going from 20 to 35 kiloliters. So the rate there that you are charged is 12 rand 61 per kiloliter, and the difference here, 35, is 15 kiloliters. And we need to calculate that. So 12 rand 61 times the 15, we're going to get 189 rand 15 cents for that. So, altogether, our total, if we add those all up, 39 rand 90 plus our 42 rand 55 plus 189 rand 15, will give us a total cost of 271 rand 60 cents for 35 kiloliters being consumed. Now, maybe this person's a little bit more frugal and you know, they live by themselves, etc. They're only a couple of people and they don't have to use much. Let's look at a, a less extreme example. So perhaps just seven kiloliters. We're going to do it exactly the same way. So our zero to five kiloliters is going to be exactly the same. Zero rands times our five kiloliters. So that is free. Then from five to seven kiloliters, we have our three rand 99 multiplied by, they're only going two kiloliters over, so we just have to multiply that by two. Three rand 99 times two is going to give us the seven rand 98. Okay, so altogether, they only have to pay seven rand 98 for this consumption of water. Okay, these step tariffs don't necessarily have to be that difficult. Just remember that you need to go and split these things up. Okay, so the important thing here is that this 10 here came from the difference between those two. Okay, this 5 came from the difference between those two. The difference here, 20. Uh, 35 minus 20 equals 15. That is where that 15 kiloliters came from, where we worked that out there. Okay, so just be careful with these, and you know, generally, it's not too much of a difficult one. Okay, all right, so just to wrap up how to calculate our tariffs, we determine the maximum number of units per bracket and write it in small brackets next to each one, like I did in my table just before this example. All right, then I decide which bracket the values lie. Okay, in your head, on your calculator, find out how many units fall into the last bracket. Okay, so your value minus the top most bracket um, number in your bracket, you need to subtract those from each other. So if you're landing in the, uh, if you're using 30 kiloliters, for example, and you're going to jump into that bracket there, You'll check that you are between 20 and 50. So you really just have to see how many kiloliters did you go over your 20. And you'd have to use 10 kiloliters there, for example. All right. Then we write down the maximum number of units times the cost for each bracket above where the value is. So you're maxing out the first couple of brackets until you get to that last one. All right. And then you type everything into the brackets to get your answer or we can have it split up like I had in my example. I would suggest you follow that sort of idea. Okay, so just to wrap up our last bit here about what tariffs are and how to calculate them, etc. So, tariffs are there just for us to work out how much a total cost would be, 
all right using some sort of charge per unit charge per hour etc that the units could be time or kilowatt hours or kiloliters all right you need to be able to choose the right sort of tariff that would suit you so if you were planning to use a tariff to charge people for specific things then you'd have to choose whether or not you want to use a linear tariff or a step tariff depending on the context and the situation also remember that we use tariffs to control how people use resources if you don't want people wasting resources like water etc then you're going to want to go and put in a step tariff and if you want to really control how much people are using or discourage them you can change how much you charge for the specific steps in order to reduce the amount that people are going to be paying okay so i hope that all makes it quite clear for you and good luck